Well, who cares? You guys decide. You let us know. Don't let us know. Just watch this. Here we go. Going into our finals, Legendary and Team RMS. Will the hyper aggression of Legendary be able to get somehow negated by Team RMS? Can the Veils popped out like some sort of candy by in the flesh? Protect them long enough. Can to Hertz battleship it through? We will see. Or will they get just destroyed? First, Ninjas and Reap What You Sow are running what I would think is their most optimal lineup has that Jumong. Averse is just, I think, uncharacteristically good at that character. <laughs> that's that's a weird way of making that sentence. That's, I mean, it works. You got your point across. Here we go, folks. Remember, this is a five-point win score. Best of three maps. Slightly longer than last one in the flesh. He's going to get chased down by Reap What You Sow. Reap's being a little timid. Oh, the counter won't get procced. And he's going to get spell blocked immediately after, but we're going to see a verse on his oh so confident Jamong is just going to try and go in on to hurt if he can. There's a petrify. We're going to see one get out, but now they're just going to try and ignore to hurt if they can. Vareem, oh, good clarity push, but it might not be enough. He's going to get chased down. Can he get protected? The immaterial will come out. But well time from a verse gets an M2 on him as well. Oh, now Averse is going to get put into a 2v1 situation. Gets panicked up, but in the flesh will whiff the snipe, and that might have been the opportunity for a counter kill. EX Prowl to avoid the shatter underneath, and Averse is going to be able to let that debuff drop off. He's got a second. Oh, they will take down the in the flesh. And right now, I think Tahirth is doing a good amount of damage. They were very close to making a kill happen on, on uh, Jumong, but. Being that they weren't in the position to grab center orb, as well as the fact that I think that um, in the flesh, uh, whiffing that snipe was, was really painful for them because in that moment, if he had landed it, the shatter would have landed. They would have done the snipe damage. They would have gotten the debuff popping. And uh, they would have gotten the silence on Averse as well, meaning that Jumon wouldn't have been able to um, kind of use the EX Prowl. Uh, I think that I was think that quick was little disconnect. I think he might be back. Yeah, it's looking like we're back. Hi, guys. Bye, guys. Hi. <laughs> Champagne's actually pretty tasty. Mm. I don't drink champagne very often. We had hot chocolate in the morning, champagne in the evening. We're getting spoiled. We're getting spoiled, but that's what we get for getting uh, stuck in the black room of death. First round goes to Legendary. Going to try and hunt down in the flesh again. Silenced, and a whole round of M1s goes in. He's going to space bar out as well. Oh man, Vareem's gotta be careful. What a great clarity potion though, pushing both away. But it might not be enough. The material has to go out to protect him. But he's still stuck in between both ninjas and Reap What You Sow. They're gonna try and get their burst damage. They successfully land enough. The banana comes out to almost bring him to lead the level, but he stays just protected enough. No, he will not survive. Too much aggression. Reap What You Sow takes some damage, but it's not enough to make a huge threatening moment. EX Prowl gets popped from Averse to try to chase down in the flesh, and it's just whoever Reap What You Sow ninjas and Averse set their sights on, they will be able to just overrun and take down. I think that the difficulty right now is Team RMS is having trouble finding a foothold in this particular matchup. They need to find some way to convince Averse, Reap What You Sow and ninjas to back off. And the best way to do that, of course, is to do damage. But problem being that there's a ton of cooldowns on the side of all three of the characters on Legendary to kind of bustle their way through, right? Ninjas can teleport right to the back line and just instantly get that burst of 28 damage. Reap What You Sow can use Immaterial and charge up Weapon Strikes and then get Impale. And Averts can continually use Black Arrow to avoid CC, avoid damage. And so I think that there just needs to be some element that Team RMS relies on that can kind of hold Legendary back and let it so that they don't get their backline completely smashed as they are doing right now. To Hertz gets petrified and they just ignore him immediately. They just want to hone in on poor Vareem. They know he has no mobility. The immaterial does come out, but it doesn't matter. They're going to hop right back in as soon as it wears off. He's weak and has to use a roll, but he's going to go right into the hands of a first. But a first is too busy dealing with the Hertz. Vareem's able to survive just a bit longer, but now to Hertz is the new target. Yeah, and Terrence is already really low. Weakened is really bad against, uh, is really bad to have as Varesh because you do less damage and you trade out very ineffectively and will be able to take down to Hurts. It just doesn't matter which way in the flesh and for position, the adjustment is there for Legendary. Oh my god, the poster time. Wow, where did Bard go? One shot will do. <laughs> after, that's after he literally just held down left mouse button and just shot stuff. This is nuts. What's crazy is both of these teams are incredibly skilled, and the fact that Legendary is just taking it away, it's pretty impressive. Team RMS is the team that clearly just beat another guy. I mean, these are all the top teams, man. 
North America is very tiered. It's very, very tiered. And I don't know who will rise up to stop Legendary, but it's seeming very tough. Oh, the kind of look at Prox and give him that immaterial a little bit of more survivability. Turns does get petrified. They ignore him and just go for Vareem yet again. There's the immaterial though. Well timed to try and negate the damage. The double stun. Now, Will it be enough the flesh though? Is having trouble putting damage on. He had that weakened debuff on him. Panic out on Reaper. You saw that's actually going to be pretty good. Center Orb goes to Team RMS. They just need to have Vareem survive right now and put counter damage onto ninjas. They're doing pretty well. There's a counter that gets popped. Vareem is about to drop here, but here comes. Oh no, to Hertz. Missing the last one. Misses the Shatter as well. And here comes the ultimate. No! Oh, and the flesh goes down. And now the Hertz is left all alone. And again, tears. And their hard work is being shattered in front of their faces here. They were so close to making a kill happen, but could not close it out. Did Shifu just call for rush a fool after he killed him? Wow. I thought only Pearl insulted her opponents. How many characters I insult, insult you by being obnoxious. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I think everyone can agree. The things Ty says just feel it somewhere inside of you, and it just this rage starts to build up. It's pretty intense. <laughs> There's very uh, colorful <laughs> words that you could use to describe Taya. Yes. <laughs> that time, actually, I thought TMS, Team RMS got pretty close yes. to potentially having that that hill, that gap, where they were able to take one of them down. Well-timed abilities as well, using that veil to protect them. To hurt, got petrified, but they did a good job of surviving while he was. Oh, that time the petrified's down, though, so they might be able to get a lot of debuffs in the meantime. All right, there it is. Ninjas. He's going to be able to try to lock onto Tahertz, but the double silence is going to give Tahertz a little bit of uh, ground here. Vareem now not really the target of choice. I think Tahertz might be the first one to fall, depending on what happens, but Averse is doing a ton of damage too. Oh, he's got to be careful. Reaper just so might go down. He's going to go for the orb to hurt, try to R on him, but he's going to hit the counter instead. He might have just protected himself with a counter. Counter countered. Reaper just so has a full stick of butter, but so does Tahertz. He might die first. He does! The banana sticks him in the face, but in the flesh is going to pick it up. He might use his ultimate now that the counter's down, but the immaterial through anyways. He only lands a single bullet on ninjas. Can he take that reap with your and make it a 2v2? The ultimate picking Vareem into the back wall. And a verse using his weapon charges, I believe, to use the double. Oh, or was that the blacker? I can't, I can't remember if it was the actual right click. So much damage coming out. There what? it is. Whoa, one does go down. Oh, this no. is a chance they have a shot. I don't know how he bursted him down. No, never mind. Wait, not a shot. Eject? Does he have the prowl? He does. There's a swift roll. Ah, oh, the barrier. No. How did that even happen? I didn't really see I, I didn't how that cross kill happened. I thought it was in the flesh that got popped. I didn't think he had the burst capabilities to pull that off. Five rounds in a row. Legendary take the first map. What? Yeah, it's looking real dominant. And the first ninjas that everybody saw are really. What I see this situation as being is they're just they're sitting here just testing the North American community, right? I mean, when you, when you talk about the competitive space and, and competitive games in general, oftentimes there will be a team that's very dominant, and what ends up happening is it just puts the community to the test, right? A lot of people will complain that, like, oh my god, they just run, like, this super overpowered composition or whatever, they'll make these excuses, right? But at the same time, it's, it's really testing the community to see how far they're willing to go to play to win. Right? Mm -hmm. Are you able to perform in the way that that legendary does? Can you replicate their success? If it's so tough to beat, can you investigate? Can you research? Can you replicate and try to emulate them? Find what makes them successful and then use that against them, or find something that hurts it and find something that collapses that that strategy. I think it's it's all about North America and how how willing they are to sit down and really look at the game and really look at okay. These are, this is what we need to do to actually topple this composition of Shifu, Sirius, and Jumon. Or maybe it, even Taya. And right? if we slow it down and take a look at round four, RMS slowly getting shredded down, maybe we can see exactly some of the moments that they were able to capitalize on. And it just seems like no matter how many cooldowns in the flesh and Vareem pop, it's just they cannot keep Rewa so in a verse off of uh, uh, Lucy's back here. And they just keep chasing down Swift Roll, the Veil, trying to position up. To Hertz is there doing his best to try to put damage out, and he gets pretty close. It's always pretty close, but it's never enough. Even using the ultimate here, the EX Prowl is going to get a verse out of that scenario. And by the time In the Flesh is in a position where he may be able to finish out the kill, Reaper Yuso is back on him, and Reaper Yuso does a cross kill.
just They're slowly so one by one takes them down. So, I don't know if you noticed this. So, earlier this morning, me and Rainy, we got ourselves some hot cocoa with a peppermint stick in it. And it was delicious. Whipped cream on top in the works. Now, the same person joked about sending us something again today. What is and it? And this time it's just a cup of whipped cream. Why is it just a cup it's of just whipped, whipped cream? It's just a cup of whipped cream. Now, I'm also going to use this as a moment to describe to you guys there's pros and cons of having a beard. The con is that there's no way I can eat this. Are you supposed to just... Respectably. How do you eat it? With your mouth. But do you, like, sip? I don't know. Do you slurp it? Do you... Never slurp on whipped cream. Just, like, like jello. You know, like, you can suck jello up? Like a vacuum cleaner? I do not know how you partake in a I cup of whipped cream. <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> That's so disgusting. It really was. <laughs> Did it taste oh, that good? Was, was it worth it? That was it? delicious, but that is friggin' the grossest sound I've ever heard in my life. Ah, oh, it's in my stash a bit. All right, well. No, I think you're good. I'll go back to this. It's a little more my Put the taste. the cream in the uh, champagne. That's right. disgusting. We're hopping into the second map now. And I don't know what is available on the side of In the Flesh for Riemann to Hertz to be able to allow them to come back in this series? There's no way I can eat more than whipped cream now. That was the grossest sound that's ever been broadcasted in the history of time. Oh, that was sick. I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> oh, goodness. We will see if they can now surpass it. They did not do any team comp changes. They did want to stay with what they have. And the flesh getting... Oh, he does proc that counter. He's got to be careful. He's slowly getting separated from Vareem. He's going to try and make his way back. Reboot your toes. Actually, taking a good... Ooh, good bit of damage. Whipped cream and champagne are now starting to make it through my throat. Ugh. Actually, this is a pretty good position, but in the flesh hits the counter of Reap What You Sow, and Reap What You gets right into the back line, oh, and now it's going to be ninjas. In the flesh. We can get supplied, and a versus trying to close out the kill. Gets the Seeker's Mark. There's a barrier and the, the shield from Tehertz. And in the flesh will live to see another day. Oh, the counter actually doesn't get brought. Damage here. Reap What You Sow actually has to retreat instead. Tries to counter through. The counter doesn't get brought. Oh, oh. my. So much happening. But one will go down. There goes to Hertz. And now, one by one, they will fall. In the flesh, Vareem and Hertz just slowly got whittled down. First it was in the flesh, then it was Vareem, then it was to Hertz, and all of them just ended up dying at the same time. The first group we saw in ninjas are... Uh What do you do to stop them? Huh? What do you do to stop them? What are you doing over there? I was trying to have some more whipped cream, but it's just not possible with this beard. It'll be everywhere. Oh my goodness. It tastes delicious though. Who can say no to whipped cream? Monsters. What do you like whipped cream on the most? I'm not gonna read chat for a long time now. What? Round one, going to legendary. There's lots of desserts that have whipped cream. There are. It. Tiramisu is my answer. What the heck? I love Everybody tiramisu. I work with is weird. <laughs> <laughs> the Imitero going out. Oh, taking a look at a burst, though. He does have his second space bar. He's going to use a 1M2. One is doing a hunt on a verse. Got to be careful now. To hurt to trying to go and take oh, out Ninjas. Man. Will he be able to? Ninjas are looking dangerously low, and the flesh is going to want to snipe him as soon as he gets the chance they lose. As you know, they did snipe that first orb. So Ninjas are going to have to go pick up some candy in the bottom. Can How do you punish this positioning? How do you punish the fact that Ninjas is just backing away away from the fight slowly? And uh, I think Reap What You Sow is getting pretty low. That might be a possible area of uh, uh, victory there. And I think they will take him down. It hurts needs to survive here. Ninjas went for the cross kill. Oh, gets the Petrify. But Team RMS still secures the orb. And this is looking like a tough, tough situation for Legendary. And finally, I think... I think the first round will go to Team RMS. Oh, nice silence. Pulling him out of that. That would have done quite a bit of damage. Jamong will fall. Shortly followed by Ninjas. Now tied up in this. Team RMS might slowly be finding out what it takes to bring down Legendary. The opening moments went very well for them. Kind of how the CC ended up falling and the damage that kind of came after it. And the positioning was such that there was no way to body block for Ninjas. The big problem in my eyes is when Ninjas cut it away, there was really no way for them to continue pressing on him. Good enough for Team RMS that they were able to turn damage around onto Reap What You Sow. 
but a lot of that is execution, right? The instant you try to acquire a new target, you have to figure out what cooldowns are available and how to chew through them. And what you have to do, they were able to do it in that case, but they need to be able to do that consistently, I feel. To Hertz, trying to find his position. He's going to get petrified, though. They're going to go for the flesh instead. The bear comes out, and the immaterial following shortly thereafter. The Reign of Arrows forcing in the flesh to go back, and now Averse putting on that pressure. Secret's Mark in cap. The shield is going to come out to protect, and in the meantime, to Hertz is trying to do as much as he can to reap what you sow. There it is. Immaterial is going to avoid the sniping in, in the, the flesh. flesh. Oh, Real bad. No. Oh, my God. Dragon Slayer. I think it's coming. Oh, is built. oh no. He's just going to spend. He does not want to mess around. Looking for the kills, and he gets it. There it is. Oh, yeah. ultimate gets popped. Gets one. Misses the second. There's the EX Prowl. Bates out the counter. Dead. It looked promising in round number two. Really close. <laughs> it looked like something would It happen. looked like something. But they just turned up the heat again. It always boggles my mind how convincing uh, a verse reap what you saw in ninjas can make it look, right? These teams fight hard to get to where they are, and they're very good at what they do. But a verse reap what you saw in ninjas always make it look like they're in control in the pilot seat. Just cruise. All right. Go, Reaper so. Gonna initiate onto Vareem. Hertz was petrified up, and Vareem will drop a clarity potion for him kind of late. Or will try and tear through both in the flush and Vareem. Now the rain of arrows on in the flush. The space is down. He has to use the material, but he's actually oh, gonna get a hole in damn it. Reap would you so? They're not. Oh, can they get a cross kill really quickly? I don't think so. They're actually gonna take down Vareem almost instead. But first, it's just gonna go in. No hesitation. Oh, here we see it. Oh, the double oh. ultimate, but it's not enough for a versus. Does so much more damage to Hertz. Unable to do much from this. Made oh. him a Lucy poster, and that that hurts. I think the three-man incapacitate is something that is very difficult to deal with. Even if your target is the one that gets incapacitated, it just allows you to get a free hit, and that can change the dynamic of a lot of how the match plays out, right? That one hit means that you have no option to save a cooldown. You just have to spend immediately and try to get out of that situation. And that could be the health that you needed to kind of guarantee that you would not be in killing blow range. Um, and that also changes the way they have to play out that scenario. In that case, in the flesh got so low, um, and he ended up just getting taken out, so it didn't really matter. But so many good things coming out of that incapacity from Shifu. All right, Reaper Yiso is going to go after to Hertz here. He's looking for greener pastures, and they're going to connect onto Lucy. In the flesh, tries to flick the uh, snipe, but Averse is aware of it. Going to use the EX Prowl to immaterial away. Incapacity lands on in the flesh, and now Rick, what you saw is tagging onto whatever he can find, connects onto Vareem. The bear will fall, but here comes Ninja, still gets silenced up twice in the flesh. Might be turned around, damage here. Ooh. Tries to flick onto Ninjas, but misses the opportunity. The orb gets taken by the Reign of Arrows, legendary now to his worn orb. Will Vareem go down, but at the same time, Ninjas might as well. He does! Whoa, it's now 2v2, Rick, what you saw, stuck. Wow. Vareem could close it out. He has his ultimate. We'll see. He could use a teleport as well. He could try to duel it out with the first. Let's see. He's popping his ultimate. There's a bait. One. Oh, but the immaterial he knew is going to come. Oh, no. And he doesn't have his counter. Oh, my God. It looks like they're getting so close so many times, but they're just not able to capitalize. One round away. Legendary. Can they be a double champion? A double champion. 2v2 and 3v3. That's going to be just for a verse. We think so in ninjas, however, we're on the losing end of that. Oh, that's true. That's true. I forgot a versus drug took that one. Will a verse be double champion? Let's see. Connects straight onto in the flesh, but Reaper so wants to connect onto Vareem instead. Oh, tries to flick up the counter again. The material does come out. Rain of arrows now trying to push them towards them. Take a look at that. Forcing them into the battle now. And the oh, flesh is no, going to go down. It's over. Will he survive? This might be it for them. He gets pulled right back in into an M2. The counter comes out. It won't get proc, but ninjas trying to deal the damage. The hurts get petrified. They get an orb. They're going to hunt down, and this could be it for them. Oh, no. Team RMS getting mulched right here. And Legendary is so dominating. I don't think there's any question in our minds. Oh, he tries to get the flick. Tries to predict where the teleport was. It takes him down that five is it. to one. Legendary are 3v3 North American champions.
And a 5-0 and a 5-1, two maps in a row. Team RMS just couldn't gather enough to try and get their number legendary. Their aggression. You, people, what are you going to do about it? You've asked the question, I'm going to ask the question. I don't have the answer. If I did, I'd be competing right now and winning. And I would never win. Well, just because you have the answer doesn't mean you have the tools to realize it. Have you seen with these swift fingers? I have not. My mechanical skill is unmatched. That is such a lie. That is such an incredible Some lie. Some people are going to ask you to, to fight them 1v1. Yeah, you're all going to destroy me. Don't worry about it. My god, fantastic. Congratulations, Legendary will go home. $500, unique in-game title. And Team RMS, $300. That's 100 a pop. They're still going to get quite a hefty prize. Congratulations.